here he comes. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. The following is brought to you by Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. Real Tree Edge. All right, well, it's day 11 here in Iowa. And uh, we're down on this big bottom. Got a little food plot in front of us. But we're pretty sure the deer are going to be coming across the creek over there from the beans and then back up into here. So we've got a good east wind this morning. The turkeys are just flying out of the roost behind us. It's real cold. It's 20, so we should see some movement down on this bottom. I get a tag and I come down here and hunt with him. Today he put me in this, my favorite spot, knowing full well that that big deer was in here and that's the biggest deer on his farm. Knowing full well that deer was in here and he put me in here. I got grunted at him a couple times with the new bone collector, night and hail, grunt call. This is the first one out. That's the biggest buck of my life. What a toe, shot him right here, 10 feet. 
can't even believe how big this thing is. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Look at the mass on that thing. <laughs> that is one large white-tailed deer. <laughs> oh, it was so amazing. I just can't say enough about Gabe Adair. He has been so good to me. You know, it's so hard to come by these Iowa tags. And every year that I've gotten one, he's let me hunt. And he put me down on this bottom today. This is my favorite spot. I was in here the other night and I saw a couple real nice big bucks and we knew this deer was around, but he'd kind of been MIA for a while. And this morning he came out and I shot him five yards right underneath the tree. Unbelievable monster, just my biggest buck ever for sure. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this hunt, the buck I'm after is named Houdini because every year around October the 1st, this buck would disappear. However, this year, Brian and Jeff at JB Outfitters got him on trail cam, and he is incredible. Matter of fact, I can say that as I'm sitting in the stand right now, this is the largest buck that I've ever hunted in my life. Little did I know how the afternoon hunt would turn out.
I hope more than anything that I could give you the praise and glory and the honor for that deer. Thank you, God. I cannot believe I have just shot not only the biggest white tail of my life, he's by far the biggest white tail I've ever seen in my life. He's a deer we called Houdini. All I could think was, do not rush the shot, do not rush the shot, do not rush the shot. Pick a spot, pick a spot, pick a spot and squeeze. And I'm telling you, this bear just ate him up. The Spirit Fire Max, they can't tow the Spirit Fire Max, I'm telling you. Gosh, it, what, I'm telling you right now. Can I say the good candle of pace off? <laughs> Thank you, Bill Jordan. Thank you, Bill Jordan. Thank you. Thank you for being an awesome boss, having an awesome company. Let me be a part of it. I just took the biggest white tail I'll ever take in my life. Ever. I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, oh, gosh. Right here. There he is. There he is. This joker. Oh my gosh, look at this joker. Look at the size of this deer right here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Whew. I told you that's not only the biggest whitetail I've ever shot by a long shot, that's the biggest whitetail I've ever seen. Look at the mass. Oh my gosh, that is Houdini right there. Unreal. Look at that deer right there. Oh my gosh. I, I, that's, that's unreal. The size of this deer. I mean, this deer is, golly. I mean, this deer is over 180. 185, I, I don't even know what he is, but he's big. And uh, I can tell you one thing, Jeff and Brian at JB Outfitters do an incredible job. And I know it seems like I'm just kind of mellowed out right now, but I am worn out emotionally when I saw him go down. Goodness, what a buck. What an incredible buck. Look at the mass. I, I don't even know what he's got for points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 points. He's got a big point broke off right here on the inside. But the mass, oh my gosh, the mass is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unreal. Unreal. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. An incredible, incredible hunt. We uh, bought this stand a couple of days ago. We got in here a little bit early this afternoon. Temperature's about 45, 46 degrees, going down to the mid 30s tonight. But uh, really kind of a neat spot. It's one of the areas I've been hunting out here for a lot of years. I've actually had a tree stand in this particular tree a couple of years ago but we got a lot of good thick bedding area close to us a cut cornfield behind us and part of this river system that runs left and right in front of us uh, these deer traveled all the time so uh, we hope that we're gonna get something through here this afternoon we'll see some deer hopefully
Look at this deer. Look at the way it's sticking up. And I'm seeing a lot of sticker and kicker points. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's get that bow down right there. Oh, my goodness. Look at this deer. Look at this deer. Oh, let me take this toboggan. and I'll start to get a little whew, warm there. But I want to show you a Kansas deer. I, you know, I could see a lot of stuff, you know, as far as the split brows, long brows, kickers right here, one off the back, one off this side right there. That is a Kansas, Kansas deer. I am absolutely thrilled. This deer probably didn't go but about, uh, I'm going to say maybe 40 yards from the stand. And uh, the broadhead did its job and luckily made a good shot. But I just got to thank... I say this every year, but Perry Ross. Perry had a little kidney stone this week, and uh, we came and got him and took him to the hospital, emergency room, and you know had a little surgery done, and you know he's fine. But I can't wait to call him and tell him about this deer. But you know the Kansas thing is just so neat. We've hunted with Ross Trophy Outfitters with Perry for a lot of years. A lot of friends of mine, a lot of NASCAR drivers you've seen, you know, from time to time out here, and it seems like we never disappoint. It's just always a great place to be. Perry and and Petey, actually Caleb, you know, they work hard. And Bill Jordan is absolutely thrilled with this deer. Well, we had such a great morning. Had so much activity, tons of chasing going on. Um, we decided just to stick it out and stay the whole day. It's a little over nine hours we've been in our stand. And um, this area that we're in is just unbelievable. So. Um, we think maybe coming in this morning we might have bumped a lot of these deers off this food source across the river up into this thick bedding area. So hopefully we'll see what comes back out tonight. Hopefully a big dude will be in there with us. So things are things are happening. We're very excited. Now we join one of my best friends in the world, Al Krause from Rapid City, South Dakota. Al is the owner and operator of Black Hills Archery and is a very accomplished hunter. He is in southern Iowa, and you're not going to believe the hunt that's about to take place. There's a shooter at the river, coming across the river. He's a shooter for sure.
Holy smokes. Oh. oh, I gotta hold on to something. Oh. Oh. Give, give me somebody. Oh. Thank you, Ron Skronsky and Steve Snow for inviting me down here to this ranch, this farm. Thank you, Lord, for making me a bow hunter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta sit down here. Blood. Oh my gosh, he's in the river. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at this hog. Holy smokes. Holy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that? Look at that monster. Oh, God, when he come across that river. Oh, I knew he was big, but I didn't know. Oh my goodness. I didn't know he was that big. Look at that thing. Welcome to Iowa. Holy smokes. My goodness. God, he come across that river. In my opinion, this is the greatest hunt we've ever captured for monster bucks. Incredible. Over 200 inches of antler. And the video, well, it was something else. Get him coming. I can't believe how huge he is. God, finally, he just, he just couldn't handle all the grunting. And he just turned, locked onto us. And here he comes, boy. He rubbed a couple trees on the way in that as big as my waist. And now I don't know why, look at that thing. He's a monster. I mean, that's a, I don't know what to say. I, I've never seen a deer like this. I don't, 